Yeah, so I'm Paul Walski. I operate out of San Antonio, Texas. I actually have two companies, one with my wife. Uh, one is Z-Will Inc. and one is Warthog Inc. Uh, I've been doing this since about 2015. We run roughly 45 routes on the heavy days. Uh, we've been using Ground Cloud for at least three to four years. Is back in about 2017, I had been in conversations with a couple other contractors and a, a buddy of mine out of Oklahoma had been using it, uh, was talking about the iPads and such and said, hey, this thing is is great uh, and, and time saver, uh, ease, being able to keep a little bit better oversight of the company. And so uh, he talked me into it. I, I relied on him and, and it hadn't let me down at all. dramatically improved our capability, especially going from the old VRP system with uh, HD deliveries and being able to route the way we wanted to, have it flow the way we wanted to, uh, most recently with the updates of the no van scans that our station's able to put in because as normal complaints are of, of poor scanning at the station, uh, mm -hmm. being able to implement those no van scans and get them on ground cloud has, has been dramatically uh, time saver for all of my drivers, uh, minimizes their frustration from having to go at the end of the route and do their penalty laps to uh, actually be able to pick it up on route. And then we just gripe about the station. And the, the heart of the product is, is the routing it is yeah. dry overseeing the drivers, giving them, you know, good routing. So they're not wasting time. Uh, and then accurate labels of where the stops are going to be. So, I mean, that's the heart and ground of it. And, and the base ground cloud is great just for that. Um, now adding in all the additional features as they're, you know, over the years, um, and especially with the ground cloud pro that they're coming out with some products that uh, are even more useful, but obviously just the basic routing um, with accurate details, being able to update those, you know, because again, the data that we get is occasionally just plotting it, you know, 30, you know, 20, 30 miles away. And we're able to update it, especially newer neighborhoods going, no, that one is the third house down and you put it right there. And now from here on out, every driver that goes on that route is going to the right house. Uh, the first one is the driver scheduling. Uh, you know, we were, we had been doing our scheduling just with spreadsheets at this point and it, and it works great and it allows it to see it, but you occasionally get that consternation from the drivers of, oh, I requested this time off. So-and-so approved it. And that manager forgot to tell somebody, uh, the guy might be stretching the truth a little bit, uh, but now having that professional, he requested it. I have a name of who approved it. And now we've got belly buttons to push on who's responsible for that. You know, who approved it, who's got the plan to cover it. Um, and it just takes away all of the friction that you might have between management and the drivers on time off. Um, in terms of the scheduling, now the driver can just call it up on the app. He sees exactly what route he's on. He can see exactly what days he's scheduled for. And I can force, you know, and then again, I can hold my managers more responsible in terms of what they owe the drivers. Um, because, you know, just today I called it up and I said, hey, why isn't next week's schedule already in ground cloud? We already know 90% what it is, you know, let the drivers know, hey, here's what we're expecting to do over the rest of this week and next week. And, and so there's a little bit of that, hey, it's a new product, let's start using it. And, and you, and you get through that. But but those are uh, incredibly valuable. Having the pivot table to look between the route and the driver to see if you double scheduled or didn't schedule, or this guy's supposed to have five days and he's only scheduled for four. Okay, well, was, and then I have created some floater routes like, hey, you're our spare driver today. And so that way they know, okay, I don't have a route. You know, I, can, I don't need to come in at 7.30. I can come in at eight because we got to wait till we have the call-ins or the overage or whatever else is going to be there. Um, so it does that. That was a great product um, that we started implementing right after I got back from the expo. Uh, the maintenance reports uh, were slowly morphing from them. Again, we, we went from spreadsheets and I think that's a little more useful and especially getting the MMRs um, kind of into the process, which again is just going to save an hour or two of time of creating MMRs for the, the ones as opposed to auto generating them. 
So every little bit of time and simplicity on there is, is money in your pocket. Uh, specifically the one that uh, lets you look at the money and then let your managers looks at the routes is the route stats. Um, just from putting it in, uh, I was able to cut a route on a Monday. And, and based on the way I pay, you usually cost about $200 to run a route. If I can cut a route out, that's 50 times a week or 50 times a year, that's $10,000 you save right there by cutting one route on one day. So being able to see it, see where the volume is, go, wait a minute, if I'm running, say, 20,000 packages this day and I'm running it with 20 routes and the next day I'm running the same number of packages, but I'm doing it with 21, why am I doing that? It, 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 it kind of highlights the places for you to go, why? And occasionally there's a good reason why. And then occasionally there's like, huh, we can do without that. Uh, let's do it this way. And then you can talk to the drivers and you, you know, give them an extra 20, $30, but you save 170. You're, you know, everybody's winning at that point. You know, I used it the other day uh, with the Labor Day weekend. It was like, well, I know DRO's volume's off. I know my historical volume is pretty darn accurate and I can plan my day off of that. And I was like, okay, wait a minute. So if Monday were closed, then what does the Thursday look like? Usually it's heavy, but I know on the, so I was able to just jump back to the last time we had a Monday off and I just went, okay, let me see what the volume looks like over that week. And I can see that Thursdays were more equivalent to a Wednesday than a Friday. So I could run the Wednesday plan, cut three routes out and still make service quite easily. And again, you're saving a couple hundred bucks for every route that you shut down and the drivers and, you, and, and you're able to make that decision early enough that you're not surprising the driver. It's just like, hey, this Thursday, we're going to run this plan. Realize you're going to have these extra neighborhoods. Now the drivers aren't, you know, that consternation of I don't have this on a Thursday. Well, yeah, you do this one because it's a different week. So you're able to, by compiling that historical data, you're able to jump back and not only just look at, hey, what are the trends in volume and that sort of stuff, but on these unique weeks, well, let me find what we did last year. Let me find what we did earlier this year when we had that day off. Um, and then, you know, for peak, like I put in my last three years of that peak time frame. So now I can look at 21 peak versus 20 peak and make better plans for 22 peak. You know, I can't tell you that ground cloud is the answer for your business. Everybody's going to run it differently. All I can say is uh, if the tools you use, if you can consolidate them into one product where, and they're valuable and they work. Um, I, I was in the military and there was always that, you know, this is the all things for all people. I immediately just say, no, that's a horrible product. I don't even need to see it. If you're going to tell me it does everything for everybody, it's worthless because that means it's not good at anything, you know, but ground cloud has taken a, that nice approach. So do you have a navigation software? Okay. Because obviously I don't think the FedEx supplied one is good enough to be, uh, the quality. Do you have a safety program? Do you have a scheduling program? Do you have uh, a way to analyze your business over history? Well, if you have that stuff and you're happy with it, well, then continue using it. Um, but if it's 18 different processes and it's taking you hours of your day to get that information to make good business decisions, then at least for me, I looked at GroundCloud and said, it has this and it's better than what I do. It has this, it's better than what I was doing. It has this, which is as good as what I've been doing, but it's in the same software system. So it actually will make my processes easier. You know, as you look at what you need from auxiliary support, you know, I, I'm a fan of ground cloud and would highly recommend it at least for somebody to take a deep dive, do the, the free demo here for the rest of the year, get in there and try it. See if you like it. If not, stay with the base method or stay with what you're doing. But for me, it's it's worth it.